To start with, let me state that a comprehensive answer to this question does not yet exist. This admission is born out of the honesty required in science, and is the point from which advancement starts. However, from what we do know now, there is no reason yet presented that prevents the laws of chemistry from producing and assembling the components of living organisms by themselves. In fact, contradictory to the common creationist mantra, there are many examples of chemical laws producing order. Let us use an example available to all. Go and look at the sludge in a soap dish, or a cream cleanser. What you are looking at is proof that molecules can self-assemble into complex, ordered structures. It is there in front of you. These molecules arrange spontaneously into closed structures. Some even form into bilayered structures, just like our cells. These structures form alone, with no guiding hand to form each one. They exist as a function purely of concentration and temperature. A simpler and easier to visualise example is oil and water. Depending on which is more abundant, one will form into discrete bubble-like structures. These are key to making lava lamps, among much else, work. This example does not produce complex structures like the soaps previously mentioned, but it shows that chemical laws produce order, even on a level that you can see with the naked eye. It is fair to say that even the soap example does not constitute a living cell. Indeed, it holds no genetic information, but it is a step towards life from non-life. A popular hypothesis is that RNA preceded DNA in creating this code, as well as providing some functions now largely undertaken by proteins, such as enzyme function. This would enable enzymes to be incorporated into living systems later in life's story. This also dismisses the assertion that A minimal cell needs several hundred proteins. So how about this? Even if every atom in the universe were an experiment with all the correct amino acids present for every possible molecular vibration in the supposedly evolutionary age of the universe, not even one average size functional protein would form. So how did life with hundreds of proteins originate just by chemistry without intelligent design? Again, this is nonsense. Not only in its premise, but also in its use of language. Yes, the chance of a specific sequence coming about is vanishingly small in a random process. But since when is evolution a random process? Work in the field of abiogenesis is ongoing and has yet to reach a consensus on how life began. But to envisage that this is to say that we have collectively no idea or base our ideas on guesswork would be false. These are just some papers produced in the field based upon experimentation and simulation. There are many blanks yet to be filled in, but to pose this question to a quote-unquote evolutionist betrays a level of childlike thinking where black and white definite answers are all that can be understood. This coarse level of thinking leads to people accepting any explanation regardless of the evidence for or against it, so long as it is presented as fact in its own right. I mean, with that sort of thinking, people could accept any story, which regardless of its symbolism, charm or evocative imagery, is demonstrably false to save themselves the discomfort of thought.